fundamentalist Christians in America are still trying to keep the theory of evolution from percolating throughout society. For them, it is a life or death struggle because, in spite of what a few apologists have tried to argue, evolution really is incompatible with Christianity. So these evangelical Christians continue to fight like hell to keep evolution out of the classrooms so their children won't be exposed to something that undermines their entire belief system. I'm not so sure this is a bad thing. In fact, I'm all for it. I'll explain in just a minute. I'm the Reverend Harry Tick, coming to you from DinosaurSaddles.com, where we treat religious believers with all the respect they deserve, little to none. At DinosaurSaddles.com, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. Now here's the story. So what does it mean when schools stop teaching actual science in public schools? Well, it means those students are going to be a step behind when they get out of that school system. It also means that kids who are exposed to real science are going to have a leg up when it comes to getting into a particular school, university, and later finding a job. We live in a time of increasing competition for good jobs, especially jobs requiring some form of science background. There are more than 300 million people living in America, not to mention many bright and highly capable people coming from around the globe to study and work in this country. Unfortunately, the number of universities is not growing as fast as the population, and the number of jobs for students coming out of those universities are also not keeping up with the population. This means there is more fierce competition both to get into good universities and to find good jobs once those students graduate. Therefore, anything that gives your science-loving kids a leg up on the competition can't be such a bad thing. So what's going to happen to the children going to schools in a district that prohibit the teaching of evolution in schools? Well, for one, these schools are not going to be able to keep their good science teachers because those teachers will see the writing on the wall and look for other districts to work in. If you want to find a good school for your child, look for a district next to a banned evolution district. This is where the good science teachers will be. Second, those students who aren't learning about evolution are not going to match up favorably with students in districts where real science is taught. These little Christian children are not going to be competing with your kids. No, nah, they'll be getting their half-assed education and settle into those jobs that don't require any free thought that don't require a background in logic and reason or science. This means they won't be competing with all the children who do want to find work in fields that are intellectually challenging. If Christian parents are happy watching their children grow up to be insurance salesmen and clerks at Walmart, that's fine with me. They'll be happy spending their lives in little church communities and I'll be happy because they're content. I'd much rather buy my insurance from someone who enjoys his work than from a person with a science degree who couldn't find a job in the field he loves, so he takes a job selling insurance because he has to pay the bills. It's a win-win situation. Christians are happy being ignorant and singing the praises of Jesus while they work at jobs that don't conflict with their faith. And the rest of us can be happy too, because it leaves more work in the challenging fields of science and less competition. About 45% of the American population believes in some form of the biblical view of creation. This means that nearly half of all Americans do not have the vaguest idea of how the universe actually functions. Imagine, if you will, if all these people suddenly accepted the scientific truth about evolution. The competition in science would explode. There wouldn't be enough schools nor enough jobs to hold them all, and a huge number of people would end up being squeezed out of the fields they want to pursue. Instead of Walmart being staffed by happy little Christians, it would be staffed by frustrated and out-of-work scientists who can't find work in the fields they love but still have to pay the bills. As long as you make sure your children have an understanding about science, they are going to have a significant advantage. They'll understand reason. They'll understand the process of learning, the excitement of understanding the world they live in. Meanwhile, the little Christian children will be content to rely upon their faith. They'll be content to limit their understanding of the world to only those areas that don't conflict with their Bible teaching. Yep, these children won't be challenging your kids for the interesting jobs where knowledge is a requirement 
and the ability to reason a prerequisite. Old Harry Tick's bottom line is that there are not as many jobs in the fields that require reason as there are graduates to fill those jobs. Therefore, anything that eliminates a good portion of the competition isn't such a bad thing. A Sunday spent at the Museum of Natural History is infinitely more beneficial than a decade's worth of Sundays spent with your asses on church pews. What the Reverend Harry Tick is basically saying is that for the sake of children who do want to pursue a life in science, thank God for the people insisting on teaching creationism. These religious nuts are doing us a favor. They're whittling down the competition, and that can't be a bad thing for people who want their kids to know how the universe really works. Oh.